I just left Walter Reed Medical Center, and it's really something very special. The doctors, the nurses, the first responders, and I learned so much about coronavirus. And one thing that's for certain, don't let it dominate you. Don't be afraid of it. You're going to beat it. We have the best medical equipment. We have the best medicines, all developed recently. But don't let it dominate your lives. Get out there. Be careful. We have the best medicines in the world. And it all I think the president has an opportunity that he is missing. And I think he has an opportunity to do a public service. And I think he's right now doing a public disservice. To say to the people of this country, uh, look at me. Don't worry about COVID. Look how well I'm doing. First of all, this is a funny disease. We hope you're doing well. But the disease still hasn't run its course. And uh, it's a little premature to say, I'm doing great. Uh, the average person gets COVID. They don't get flown by helicopter to Walter Reed Hospital and have a team of 20 doctors, millions of dollars of medical talent attend to their needs, receive experimental drugs that haven't been available to the public uh, and are administered just to the president under compassionate care, right? From a public service point of view, don't be afraid of COVID. No, be afraid of COVID. It can kill you. Don't be cavalier. This is just more denial. This is where it started. And you know, the president, God bless him, he tells you where he's going. We know that when COVID started, he knew how bad it was going to be, and he just lied about it. We know that he had the White House memo done by Peter Navarro that said millions of people could get infected, and he just lied about it. Woodward's book, he actually has him on tape saying, I know how bad it's going to be, but I don't want to tell the American people. Yeah, that cost this nation, and that confusion cost this nation uh, many unnecessary lives and expense and pain and hardship.